Today I want to show you how to install an Apache Solar search engine so that you can start making search-driven APIs and dashboards and analytics in your application. It's so fun to do. It's a powerful tool that you can use to really enhance your APIs and analytics. Let me show you how to get started. We're going to deploy it on our OpenShift local environment, a real cloud environment that's open source that you can install on your own computer, Mac OS, Linux, or Windows. Let me show you how to get started. You can go to github.com slash computate-org slash smart to buy our smart village. This is where the code is to deploy the Apache Solar Search Engine. It's in OpenShift, Customize, Bundles, Solar, S-O-L-R, Base. Now here, we will install a namespace for Apache Solar and Helm charts related to deploying solar. So Helm is code that's grouped together, that's deployable on OpenShift and Kubernetes. And then we will install two applications. One of them is the solar operator, which is an interesting name that they chose because it's actually a Helm chart and not an, an operator. But it's called the solar operator and it's a Helm chart. And then we'll deploy a solar instance. In fact, it'll have two replicas of a solar cluster or a solar cloud, I should say. So let's do that right now. I will go to the code in home slash dot local SRC smart to buy our smart village. And then I'll make sure my OpenShift local environment is running with OC, no, sorry, CRC start. I have previous videos to show you how to set up an OpenShift local environment. So this is the URL to the web console for OpenShift. So I go there. And then I will pull up Argo CD because that's where we can see our GitOps in action. Pull up the routes for the Argo CD namespace. There it is right there. You'll see we've already deployed a bunch of things that I've explained in previous videos, like a Postgres database and a Zookeeper cluster manager. Now we will deploy solar with a command like this, oc apply-k openshift customize bundles solar base. Now we run that command and we should see Two things pop up now, the solar operator and solar. So first we need the solar operator to do its thing. It's going to install the Helm charts required for Apache Solar. And then solar is going to use the resources that the solar operator sets up to run Apache Solar itself. So let's wait for these to sync. Let's check this out. Sync OK. Good. So our applications show the solar operator is synced and solar is synced now. Let's jump into OpenShift to see 
what happened. We'll go to the solar namespace, which was just created, and it has a route for us. So we'll pull that up. Now, it's not quite working right, so let's check this out. We'll look at the pods for Apache Solar. We have a now, we talked about ZooKeeper in a previous video. Apache Solar deploys its own instance of ZooKeeper so that it can scale. So our applications are going to use ZooKeeper, but Solar uses its own ZooKeeper. You can technically do them on the same ZooKeeper, but this is good that they're separate. It has two ZooKeepers here. So it's clustered as well as solar is clustered. Let's look at one of these pods to see if it's happy. Okay, so let's try if this route is not working yet. Oh, it is actually. <laughs> Just took a moment and now it's up and running. So we should be able to see what's in Zookeeper under this cloud tree environment. What we're missing here is the config set of search engine mappings that we want for our application. It's not deployed yet. So I'll show you how to do that in a future video. But this looks good to me. We have one default config set, and we have no collections yet. So let's just create a default collection and see what happens. Add a collection, we'll call this default, and we'll choose the default config set here. Add collection. Boom, we have a collection. This is cool. A collection is like a database, except it's one ginormous table of everything you put into it. So you can query everything in a search engine. Um, let's take a look. If we click on this drop down and go to default, and we go to query here, and we execute a query, we get a successful response. So this is the URL here to query your search engine. You do you use the select API with a Q equals star colon star to search everything. If you leave this out, then we should get we still get no documents. Anyway, so that's just a brief introduction to Apache Solar. We have it working. You saw how easy it was to set up. Now you can start building, putting data into your search engine and start building some really cool analytics and dashboards and powerful search-driven APIs. I'll show you more in future videos, but that's it for now. Thank you for watching.